Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we're going to train our legs with focus on hamstrings. I'm going to start the, with the usual dynamic stretching. Hardly takes three to four minutes and it's quite important on a regular basis to perform these. You will definitely notice improvement in your mobility, slight flexibility and also it helps you identify any kind of restrictions if you have before you know start lifting the heavier weights and start doing compound lifts so i do my greatest stretch four to five repetitions then i sit in a deep squat for at least 10 15 seconds feel my hips stretch my quad stretch out my ankle mobility in check then i move on to the bird dog pose now the bird dog pose is strictly for core strengthening of course you have to hold the poses here for at least 10 to 15 seconds each side to really challenge yourself you can do it at a slow pace four to five repetitions each side should be sufficient to start off it's a pretty simple routine as i mentioned earlier shouldn't take more than four minutes post completing these of course whichever exercise we are going to do first we have to do a couple of warm-up sets at least 10 to 15 repetitions to get the blood flowing and those particular joints warmed up so the first exercise would be lunges on the smith machine with a deficit so the lunging leg would be at a height i'm using the step up box which is almost five to six inches off the ground so giving me a lot more depth so my glutes and my hamstrings are stretched a lot more at the lower end and from there when i have to push up yes my quads are working but my glutes are also working really hard to you know create that vertical hip thrust make sure you challenge yourself with heavier weights of course as heavy it goes it, get, it becomes more challenging so achieving those 10 repetitions will be a challenge so at least try to get 8 to 10 repetitions if not if you're only able to get 5 or 6 repetitions like i did in my second and third set i took a small 30 second break and went back to that set so technically i did almost six sets if you see that in that manner but otherwise i have the count which we want to achieve is four sets 10 repetitions basically 40 repetitions each leg for the lunges and here as you can see the amount of stretch i'm able to achieve with that deficit created by the step up box post completing those i moved on to rdls three sets 10 repetitions the reason why i kept the volume low here is because I'm still going to work my hamstring and uh, my glutes were already really tired and fatigued from the lunges and I was feeling that pull on my hamstring so I decided to take it a little bit light maybe two or three reps less here you can clearly see the amount of stretch I was able to achieve in my hamstrings while I was performing the RDLs you have to make sure that you push your glutes as far behind as possible to get the bar down and from there do a vertical hip thrust to get yourself back up straight don't bend your back to get your load down there should be no stress at all on your lower back your glutes and your hamstrings should be doing the majority of the job of course as you can see my calves are getting stretched out too that's totally fine because that's the range of motion for a rdl after these i moved on to the hamstring curls seated hamstring curls machine and i punched out 20 repetitions for three sets i was getting i was trying to go as close to failure as possible but i did not and i was trying to keep the break minimum in the first two exercises i took a break of good almost two minutes that's 60 to 90 seconds but when it came to hamstring curls i tried to minimize the break because it's not a compound exercise it's not entire body fatiguing exercise so i'm seated i'm comfortable I just have to work my hamstrings you will experience a lot of muscle soreness the next day or the second day delayed onset of muscle soreness it's absolutely fine it's great to build great hamstrings because they will take you a longer way if you're someone like me who's squat dominant it becomes more important to have this one of these workouts every fortnightly or every week if possible to strengthen your hamstrings as much as possible so we are going to finish off with this exercise for the exercising bit and we are going to move into the static stretching 
For static stretching, we are going to do the simple static stretches. Of course, we are going to stretch our quads and our hamstrings, both of them. Hold the stretches for 15 to 20 seconds at every position. Simple, easy stretches, nothing challenging. And as you can see, I'm performing here. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you did like the video, the short and intense workout I was able to do, I hope you were able to execute it too. You would be a little bit out of breath, but that's absolutely fine. That's how you want to push your leg day as much as possible. Do definitely like the video. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Any feedback in the comment section is very much appreciated. You need not need, uh, you need not do lengthy leg workouts. A simple three to four exercise routine is sufficient if you do it with a good intensity and good depth and full range of motion of course so yeah thank you so much once again for watching the video do drop a like and i'll see you in the next video till then take care and have a great day